You know how sometimes you can wear red and it's like, oh, girl, your teeth look yellow. <laughs> and then you wear another different red and you're like, oh, dang girl, what you do? In this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite luxury lipsticks. And these are lipsticks that I think are totally worth the splurge if you are in the market for a luxury lipstick. Hello beautiful friends, happy Wednesday to you. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day today. My name is Libier and I make videos most every week about faith, beauty, and lifestyle. And it's my hope to encourage your everyday life wherever you're at. I wanna encourage you to have faith in God, to know who you are, and to know whose you are. Because when we know whose we are, we act differently. When you begin to understand how much Jesus loves you, you will know that you belong anywhere you go. You know that you are loved no matter what you do. You know that there's a God in heaven who loves you and will never leave you or forsake you. And when you understand this kind of love, even though we can't really fully understand, you behave differently. And I hope that you would just come onto my channel and that you would feel peaceful, that you would feel honored, that you would feel cherished, and that you would feel hopeful, hopeful to be able to tackle any area of your life. That is my hope for you. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite luxury lipsticks. And these are lipsticks that I think are totally worth the splurge if you are in the market for a luxury lipstick. I will say these aren't worth it if you are in a bind, not worth it if you are getting into credit card debt, not worth it for you if you cannot afford this type of lipstick, do not fret, do not get discouraged. There are so many other um, beautiful dupes that are within your budget and it's not about um, it's not about going and buying everything. It, listen, nothing will make you feel like you think it's gonna feel. A lipstick isn't gonna give you confidence. A lipstick isn't gonna make you feel happy. You get to decide that before you buy anything. You get to decide that you're enough and that you are worth taking care of. However, if you have the budget for the luxury lipstick, I think it's also a beautiful thing to be able to save up for the things that we enjoy. And if you're anything like me, you absolutely love beauty and you do appreciate a wonderful, beautifully made product that is both beautiful on the outside, but really beautiful and good and, and, and the product is amazing on the inside as well. All right, let's get to it. These are my favorite luxury lipsticks. I'm gonna swatch them all for you so that you can see the shades and you can see what they look like. Um, most of them have been gifted to me. Some I will uh, say that I have bought myself. So I'll let you know and disclose that. For this Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Dualgasm and it comes in beautiful packaging. It's gorgeous and it is beautiful. It feels luxurious. It feels nice and weighty. You open the package up like this and the coolest part is that the lipstick almost looks like see-through. So let's try it on, see what happens. It smells like, like a fruit. It has a fruity smell and it has a very, very silky wear. It slides on the lips really nicely. I absolutely love the pigment that it leaves on the lips. It's just, I love lippies like this because I don't like to feel like I'm wearing lipstick. I don't know if you're anything like me, but what I love about a lipstick is when it makes me feel hydrated on the lips, when it gives me a wash of color, especially a color like this that's just beautiful and it's kind of like you just ate berries and you know, the stain of that is on your lip. Um, I feel like that is this Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This one is the Dior Lip Glow. This is the color Reviver Balm. This I had been waiting to buy for a very, very long time. And finally, I saved up for two of them um, over 2020 and I bought two shades of the, the Dior Lip Glow. I bought number 004, it's the coral color, and 001, which is the pink color. My favorite is the pink color and I'll show you why. It's just a beautiful, it looks like just a nice little lip balm. But what I love about it is that it feels so luxurious and thick and beautiful on the lips. And I just love the way that it kind of like melds into your lips. Molds, <laughs> melds, I don't know if melds is a word. It just like, I don't know, it just forms 
a beautiful color on your lips as the day goes on. Absolutely, I love the, the wearability of it. I feel like it's just a really nice, comfortable uh, shade and formula. Okay, the coral, same thing. You open it up like this. This one has this corally color. I love this. I cannot. Oh, I cannot wait until summer and spring to super rock this color. I wore this at the end of the summer a lot because it was the color that I bought right um, at the end of summer and it was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to have the opportunity to wear it again. I don't gravitate towards this one in the fall and winter time as much as I do I did in the summer, but I cannot wait because look, it's so, it's like it's just so effortless and beautiful and not just like uh, you know when you wear lipstick sometimes you feel like uh, this one is comfortable and beautiful and just gives a beautiful corally wash to the lips okay moving on from dior onto ysl and i only have one of my ysls out right now um i have the color i don't even know i'm gonna i'm gonna leave the link down below um but this is probably one of my favorite nudes of all time and YSL lipsticks are one of my favorite lipsticks of all time they hit to me they hit all the points of gorgeous packaging it's just it's a, it's a gorgeous package but it's lightweight enough to put in your bag and it's not like super heavy um, this smell th these truly smell like I don't know something in childhood and it smells like tutti frutti to me, it smells so good and it hasn't gotten, you know how sometimes like lipsticks, when they get a little older, they kind of smell weird. Uh, this one has not done that and I've had this for I'm almost a year and a half, I think. And look, just the most beautiful wash of color and not even wash, but actually like lipstick, but it still feels very, very comfortable on the lips. It's not like a lip stain and it's not like a lip chapstick it's very much like a lipstick but it's the most hydrating lipstick i have ever worn and i do have a few of these but i don't have them out here i'm sorry um i will leave this one linked down below and i'll leave more of co of different colors that i absolutely love but this would be my favorite nude if i okay i do have four of the rouge le vrai volé and these are from Gucci. These are kind of like a lip balm crossed with a lipstick. I love the packaging. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Got these beautiful little flowers and the gold. It has Gucci written right here. You open up the beautiful color and this one is called Three Wise Girls. And I'll show you what that looks like on the lips. So beautiful it feels very uh, youthful and I just love this color when I'm wearing just a very bare face like I am today and I just want a pretty wash of red without having a red lip I guess that's what my definition of this one would be very pretty next I have a color called the painted veil and this is more of I guess the terracotta color Oh, I just love the finish of this lipstick. Like there's no weird smell and no and no smell at all to my uh, to my nostril knowledge. But I just love this color so much. I think it even goes really pretty with my outfit today. I love this color. It just look. It feels like um. I don't know. It reminds me of terracotta, I guess. Like, you know, those little pots? But Something similar to that is this one. This one's called Katrin Sand. Okay, this one is definitely lighter than the, what I just tried. This one is like, oh, your lips, but it is so beautiful. I love this color. This one's even more subdued than the other one that I just tried on. This one could totally be just like an everyday nudie, sandy color on your lips. I think it's just beautiful. Okay. Next, we have from the very same line. This one is in the color Millicent Rose. I love this color. Ooh. 
blue. It feels like Barbie pink. I think this color would be definitely something I would wear when I'm wearing just a beautiful like black lined look. It's so pretty. It even goes nicely with what I'm wearing today. Just like picks up the, the beautiful, I don't know, I just, I love this color. Oh my gosh, I thought I was not gonna like it because it was very pinky and I'm kind of gravitating out of like my really hot pink lips. I still do a bold red lip and I still actually really love to do a bold orange lip, but I so, I used to do pink, hot pink lips all the time and I've kind of like shied away from that because I'm becoming way more of a neutrals kind of girl and a neutral, you know, makeup palette throughout the years and as I get older. But this color is like a, a very beautiful, like subdued, like more my age type of pink. <laughs> I forgot to do one. This other one is more like a lip lip balm. It also has a Gucci logo on the top, but it's got this beautiful teal color that I absolutely love and the gold bottom part. And you open it up, looks like this. It's a different finish, that's for sure. And we're gonna see how that is. It's more like a chapstick type of feel. This one reminds me a little bit of the Dior lip glow. It's a little less hydrating than the lip glow for sure. This one and the previous one that I tested out, uh, which was Malicent Rose, these two kind of, I feel like they look very similar to each other. But obviously this is my first time wearing them. I don't know what um, they're gonna feel like. I know for sure that it's very comfortable on the lips and I would do either both of them to um, to feel hydration and to feel like just a wash of color without having to feel like you have lipstick on uh, but obviously different packaging so I guess if you like this package over this one um, that would be a good deciding factor on which one to get let's try some of the matte some of the more matte lipsticks in Gucci this one is the Janet Rust and the packaging is all gold. It's gorgeous and beautiful. I love Love this packaging. I think it just goes really nicely on the vanity. It looks beautiful. It feels luxurious and feels nice and weighty, but not super heavy <laughs> again, I you know, I put lots of things in my bag So I'm like ah, trying to figure out how to not hurt my back <laughs> Okay, let's see Ooh. Ooh. This one, I definitely would need some sort of a lip liner. I don't know if I have one that matches, let's see. Oh my gosh, I love this color. It's so pretty. Janet Rust. If you put lipstick on and you didn't do it right, don't feel discouraged. It's not about doing things perfectly. It's doing things with practice. If you practice, you're gonna succeed. The more you practice, the more you fail, especially in, 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 in something that you don't know about your face or makeup, don't be discouraged by the not knowing how. I pray that you would just press into that uncomfortableness of learning something new, especially if you're watching this and you're kind of like, I've never really been into makeup or I've never done a bold lip because it scares you because you know, you have the, <laughs> the you have the, what's it called? You, f you have the capacity of feeling like a goober. I often, when I'm doing my makeup, I feel like a goober. I'm like, Ooh, I feel like a little kid, you know, like not knowing how to draw in the lines, but it's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to go over because guess what? It's art, it's art on your face. And any artist knows that mistakes lead to beautiful discoveries. At least that's what I have found in all of my artistry and all the ways that I um, exude art, whether it's painting, whether it's my bullet journal, whether it's my blog or photography or uh, writing or uh, drawing or makeup or putting an outfit together. It's the artistry comes when you aren't afraid to fail and you aren't afraid to feel like a novice, to feel like a goober, to feel like an amateur because every artist was once an amateur. It's true, it's true. Let's keep going. I have 
just a couple more to show you. Um, I left them for the end because these are the darker colors. This one is also the same matte lipstick and it's in the color Mona Leslie Cameo. <laughs> I'm gonna leave all the links of all these products down below. All of these Gucci lipsticks were gifted to me. None of them were paid with my own money, but the PR brand has sent them to me to test out and share with you. The, obviously, I'm sharing the ones that I absolutely love. I'm not sharing with you any colors or any finishes that I don't absolutely adore. But this one has been my one of my all-time favorites. Look at it. It is so, like, like brown, right? <laughs> but it is such a good color, especially when fall rolls around. I love wearing this. But you do have to be, ooh, I do have a liner for this. Lawless liner. I'm not really into overdrawing my lips. I feel like, I don't know, I just like, doing mine just right on the the lip line but it is your preference because it is your face and it is your choice because you're you and you decide what you want to do <laughs> don't let anybody ever tell you that you have to be or do something in order to fit in or be loved you are beautiful you belong just as you are no matter what Ooh. Oh my gosh, that was a great match for liner. Oh my gosh, this color is, I just love it, you guys. I know that it's a little much, but I absolutely love this color. I feel so like, I don't know. You know, I love the reason I love makeup and I love wearing it, it, it's not, I used to feel like makeup gave me value because I didn't know where my value came from. When I found Jesus and I understood how much he loved me and the price that he paid to save my life, to give his life as ransom for mine, when I, I don't know that I can fully understand the love of Christ for myself or for you or for the world because it is too vast, it is too deep, it's too wide, it's too glorious to be able to fully understand at this moment and on earth. But in my frail understanding of the love of Jesus, what I do understand is that my worth and my value lies in Jesus, his Holy Spirit, because I have accepted Jesus into my heart. His Holy Spirit is within me. And that value is intrinsic and can never, ever be taken from me, ever. Not by anything, not by losing somebody, not by losing material things, not by gaining, I don't gain value or worth because I put on lipstick or I put on a face of makeup and I used to feel like I was only beautiful when I put makeup on. I used to feel like I was only beautiful if I was perfect, but I was never perfect. It was just the illusion of perfection that I was searching. I had a lie in my head that said, you have to be perfect to be loved. You have to perform to be loved. And I... I'm so grateful to Jesus for helping me understand that that is not the truth. That is not the truth about me and that is not the truth about you. You are loved and your worth and your value lie in Jesus and Jesus can never be taken away from you and you can never ever ever mess up enough times for him to just be like, oh that's it, I'm done with you, goodbye. There's nothing you can do to lose the love of God. <laughs> I hope that you know that because of what Jesus has done for you. I am a huge advocate for taking care of yourself, but you take care of yourself because you know who made you. You were made in the image of a beautiful God. And when you, when you put on lipstick, when you do anything that says, yes, I'm gonna adorn this beautiful skin and body that God gave me, it's because you're saying, praise you God, praise you Jesus. Praise you. Praise you for I am made. I am wonderfully and fearfully made in your image. And you love me and you accept me and you see all of me. You see all the dark parts within my heart and you still loved me. When I was, when I was a stranger to you, you loved me. When I was sinful and not loving Jesus, he gave himself for me and you. And he's never going to leave. So with that certainty, have that freedom to just explore your beauty because God gave you beauty. No matter what you look like, 
You have beauty to offer. No matter what you look like, if you are excited about makeup, you can wear a bold lip if you want to wear a bold lip. <laughs> I hear people saying all the time, oh, well, you are so lucky you can pull it off. You know what? No, if I didn't have the confidence that God has given me, the Christ-centered confidence that can never be taken away, I wouldn't feel good enough to wear nice things or a bold lip or uh, this or that. I, I wouldn't feel confident. And oftentimes, even in my walk as a Christian woman, I still struggle with my identity. I still struggle with wondering whether I measure up to God. And do I? No. I never ever will measure up to God because it is not because of my works that I have been justified. It is through the gospel. It is through knowing what Jesus has done that I understand who I am. And I understand that there is nothing I can do to lose God's love. So I can just rejoice and I can be free to be me and understand that my body is going to want to sin every day. I'm going to do something bad. You know, I, I, it's sad to see people holding Christians up to such high standards because we're sinners. We need Christ just as much as everybody else. Yes, as Christians, if you love Jesus, you, you do better. You obey in different ways. But there are seasons of our lives. There are seasons of relationship with God. And when you love God, there's an expectation that you will always be in that fervor and zest for the Lord. And let me tell you something. That's not the truth. I've walked with God for seven years. And in my seven-year walk, I've been on a high with God. And I've been on lows with God. I've been full of faith. I've been almost lost of hope in my faith but jesus has never lost his faith in me and he will never lose his faith in you put on my very last one which is a red lip this i think is a new launch from gucci this is their rouge le vrai satin finish and this is the goldie red Ooh, this is some fancy packaging y'all and this would be a great valentine's day present for anybody who loves luxury goods and also loves a red lipstick. Let's put her on. Oh, you know what? With a red lipstick, definitely want to line the lips. I'm gonna need a lot of Laneige after this. Oh my gosh, I'm really nervous to try this because it's so pretty. It's called Goldie Red. Wow, that is, that is something I love. I love it, I love it so much. I love it so much. It is beautiful, it's a beautiful red. I feel like this is a great red for white teeth. You know how sometimes you can wear a red and it's like, oh, girl, your teeth look yellow. <laughs> and then you wear another different red and you're like, oh, dang girl, what you do? Whiten your teeth? Uh, so yeah, I absolutely love this red. It's a satin finish. It's beautiful. As far as first impressions for this lipstick go is I love, you know what I love about it? I love how pointy they make their lipstick because I can really not mess with, um, you know, not being able to define the point. I feel like not every lipstick is made the same way. And what I really love about the Gucci lipsticks is in all of them, as you saw, they all had very, very uh, pointy peaks for your Cupid's bow. And I think that for a red lipstick, that is crucial for when you are trying to not mess it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just think that it's a great lipstick. It's a great satin finish. It's so comfortable. It's very lightweight. I feel like I'm hardly wearing anything. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what color was your favorite. What color would you rock? And leave me um, any questions you have about anything that I shared. Um, I would love any feedback as far as what you want to see in the future from me. If you're stuck on something, if you have questions about anything, please leave me a comment down below so I can have ideas on what content to make for your benefit and your value. That is why I'm here. I'm here to encourage 
your everyday life. <laughs> Thank you so much for trusting me. I love you so much. Um, like I said before, most every lipstick except for the Dior and the Charlotte Tilbury was gifted to me. Oh, and the YSL, I bought that too. So thank you to Gucci, I guess, it's all Gucci. Thank you to Gucci for sending these to me to try, enjoy, and share with my tribe. I really appreciate you guys. You've no idea how much you mean to me. All of you, all of you. The brands that send things for me to share on my channel and also you guys, the viewers, because you are so important to me. I wake up excited to create content for you. And now I'm gonna go and use my little lip scrub that my girls and I made. We were in chemistry class. I do homeschooling with them. I homeschool the kids now because, you know, COVID. But it's been a blessing. It's been such a humongous blessing. So we did lip scrubs the other day. We put um, coconut oil, honey, orange, and lime zest in them to just give them a nice, beautiful scent. And the coconut oil with the honey and the sugar. Oh, and we put sugar in them too. Um, they just came out so beautiful. So well, we did purple and then like the seafoam green one. And it's just a great way to exfoliate the lips. When you put together a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of sugar, you're gonna see that it's gonna really help your lips slough off all of that dead skin cell. And you definitely want to make sure you're exfoliating your lips and having your lips hydrated before you do any lipstick because it makes the lipstick go on more beautifully on your lips. You don't have those like weird little patches. Create a beautiful canvas for your lipstick. All right, friends, I love you so much. This is it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. Have a beautiful and blessed day and know that you belong. I love you. Bye-bye.